Hi, Kel Kellogg here of the Fish Differ Magazine. Today I'm here at beautiful Collins Lake. I've secured a rental boat and we're going to get out here and see if the trout are biting. It's December 9th, the water's cold, and the rainbow should be right up on top. If you've never been to Collins Lake, you should consider giving it a try. It's just a beautiful lake. It's fairly small by California standards. It's privately owned, heavily stocked. It's full of rainbow trout. It's got a population of brown trout. It's widely known as a great spotted bass lake. Huge catfish are caught here every year, and there's some big sunfish as well. It's a wonderful place to go out for a day of fishing, um, a great place to take the family. There's a swim beach, store, they've got great ice cream cones here, cabins, rental boats, just about everything you need, and there are lots of fish in this lake, and some of them are really big. All right, fish on, first fish of the day. Doesn't feel like a monster, but I'm out there quite a ways. I'm gonna drop it into neutral here. See what I got. I'm using a Yozuri uh, shad pattern crankbait. There's a lot of shad in Collins Lake, so that seemed like a good pattern to use. And I just went across the swim beach and made a pretty sharp turn out towards the main lake. Ooh. Nice pan sized rainbow. A little Collins Lake planter. Beautiful fish, nice and clean. Whoa, <laughs> trying to hook me, but uh, I like that shad pattern crankbait. I think a lot of guys make the mistake, they only think Rapalas or, or stick baits will catch trout. Small bass style crankbaits like this can be absolutely deadly for trout, especially in the fall when the fish are feeding heavily on shad. All right, Gene just hooked the second fish of the day. Where'd you get that one on, Gene? A Rapala, Our, a rainbow. Rainbow pattern. Yeah, Gene's Pulling out on, I think he had two colors of lead core out. He's still there. He's not, not, not a big one. But... What a beautiful winter day on the lake. Nice and calm, warm sun. Pretty awesome. There he comes. He's still, he's still pulling pretty good. I see him back there. Right, we got another rainbow on here. This one's on Uncle Larry's spinner. We kind of slowed down our presentation a little bit. We're seeing a lot of, a lot of trout dimpling the surface here. And this feels like another, another pan-sized fish, but uh, ooh, we jump. Uncle Larry's is a, is a great bet when, uh, when the fishing gets a little difficult because you can put the worm on. It's still got a good deal of vibration and it's very effective. I'm gonna let this little guy go. He is little. But uh, there he is. Uncle Larry's in a worm. Tough to beat. Get this little guy back in the water. So Gene and I have decided to take a break from trolling. We're up in the river arm. We're out of the boat now. And we've got out one rod armed with power bait. And we've got a slip bobber out with a night crawler underneath it. So far we've had three or four bites on the power bait. And we've put one, uh, one pan sized rainbow on the stringer. So we'll see if the action continues here. Oh yeah, we're getting hit right now. You can see that bobber. The reason I put that bobber there, you can see the bobber go up. And that fish isn't feeling much resistance as that bobber goes up to the pole. Now when that bobber gets up to the pole, Gene, or go ahead and take it off, give him a little slack. It'll just shake it right off. Grab the rod, set the hook, set, Gene, set. Set it, set it. A real man, Woohoo! Well, that's a little better fish, maybe. Been getting some little guys. Real Gene. Work the reel, baby. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Come down here. Nope, nope. Come down. Go. You got to go down. There you go. He's coming this way. Awesome. So, what'd you get that fish on, Gene? Rainbow power bait. Very good. Now, we've been into some really pretty small planters all day, which is a little better fish, huh? 
Just a little over, it looks like it feels like a pound or so. Yeah, and you can tell he's got a nice square tail, so that's probably a holdover. That trout was probably planted in here this summer, something like that, and uh, up in this river arm, he's probably been up here feeding on minnows and whatnot, but uh, he still had a taste for power bait, so that's definitely the nicest fish of the day. I got day. another one going on power bait here. I didn't even have a chance to hang a little bobber on my line. He's there. Oh yeah, he's there. There you got him. I do. There we go. Man, there's a bunch of trout in Collins Lakes. Just jam-packed full of rainbows. These are all what I like to call government trout. These are DFG planters. Um, Collins has a great trophy stocking program. Have uh, lots of trophy trout put in here, particularly in the spring. But these are awesome fish. They're great for the frying pan. They're a lot of fun to catch. The water temperature is cool, so they're right up on the surface. I'm casting out no more than about 20, 25 feet. They're just a lot of fun. The lake's down a little bit, so it's really muddy down there. So kind of been air landing them like that. But uh, nice trout, great day, awesome. Good. Gene's got one going here on his on his slip bobber and worm combo. The fish is swimming up to shore. Go ahead and give him the business, Gene. Oh, reel down some more. Yeah, reel down till you feel him. Real fast. Now you got him. Now set. There you go. Woo! All right. Gene's using one of the new Berkeley dough bait rods, which we're not fishing dough bait on by some strange coincidence, but they are an effective rod for fishing power bait, or as you can see, they work great for fishing uh, bobbers or whatever kind of trout fishing you enjoy doing. Another feisty little rainbow. Another typical day of trout fishing here at Collins Lake, folks. Just awesome fishing, beautiful trout, pan-sized rainbows today, one nice holdover. Um, it's just an awesome lake. It's an awesome place to bring the family. Whether you bank fish or troll, the fishing is outstanding. One of my favorite ways to fish the lake is just what we did today. We did a little bit of trolling. It was productive. We caught a few fish. Then we came up here in the river arm. We beached the boat, put out our gear, and we're bank fishing in a place where probably very few people ever get out of their boat to bank fish. It's kind of like being in the wilderness right here at Collins Lake just outside of Marysville. Awesome. One of my favorite places.